so first we took a couple of values of the function and we, first we thought we'd compare it to the cosine function. And like in the cosine function, you didn't have a directly alternating series. You had groups that were negative and groups that were positive. However, you look at it and you have to know that this is true. That the absolute value of the summation or the, the function is less than this value. And so therefore, if we can prove that this absolutely converges, then this must converge too. Well, I'm sorry, if we can prove that this um, converges, therefore this converges. And if this converges, then this converges. So by using the comparison test, we com we, we're using this function and proving that this converges. And therefore this converges and this converges. So we looked at this, and this is like a geometric series where r equals 1 fourth. And obviously 1 fourth is less than 1, and therefore that converges. So if that converges, then the absolute value converges, and therefore the summation of the of a to the n converges. 